All right, so welcome to night 20 and 21. I took last night off, so I'm just going to go ahead and recap yesterday real quick. I weighed in at 279.2 pounds on Friday morning, and I consumed about 2,300 calories for the day. Breakfast was a bacon and egg taco from the Laredo Taco Company at about 8.30, and that was about 300 calories or so. Lunch was my chicken butternut squash pasta meal prep for about 600 calories. And dinner was some of our homemade vegetable beef soup for about 300 calories or so. And some plain Greek yogurt with walnuts and blueberries added for about another 400 calories. Though I did have two kind bars and a bag of queso ruffles chips for, I don't know, 650 calories worth of snacks just on Friday. Not the best day nutrition and calorie count wise. I snacked too much, but I was incredibly hungry. And I did manage to get a decent bike ride in at the end of the day. I went about seven miles, I think. And on that ride, I was really pushing myself. I broke a lot of PRs on Strava, which is silly, I know, but it gives me a carrot to chase. Well, so since this is all backwards, I'll just go ahead and get into my food for today. I weighed in at 280 pounds even this morning, and my breakfast was enormous. At around 11 a.m., I had two kolaches from the kolache factory. One was the chorizo egg and cheese kolache, and the other was their special for the month, which was sausage, egg, and hash brown. So my best guess is about 800 calories for both of those. And then we went next door and I got a coffee from Starbucks that was about 130 calories. And after my first nine mile bike ride of the day, which was much more difficult than usual because it was incredibly hot outside, I had a sliced chicken and cheese sandwich for about 440 calories and some more plain Greek yogurt with walnuts and blueberries added for another 400 or so. Followed by dinner at about nine o'clock tonight probably like 8.30 after my second ride, which was also about eight miles or so, which was a Caniac combo from Raisin Cane's. I gave, well, I just didn't have coleslaw and I had an unsweet tea with it, but it's probably still about 1,200 calories, which puts me at 2,900 for the day. But with two rides, I really don't feel that bad about it. And I'm gonna attempt to get the same amount of riding in tomorrow probably broken up into two rides again, but we'll see. I have a few things that I would like to sell over the next couple of weeks, and I want to get started on that tomorrow, so I might get sidetracked on that. But if I can manage to sell those, I'll put that towards bike money or trip money or whatever money. It'll just be better to have the money than those things sitting around. So Plus, I think we might get Leah a new bike on Monday if we can finance it. I know that the local bike shop had a promotion where you could finance a bike for 12 months, no interest through one of the uh, brands that they sell there. And I, I'm pretty sure that's like a standard thing that's going on most of the time. So if it is, we, uh, we're probably going to do that. She'll benefit a lot from it and we're going to do it either way. I kind of wanted to wait until after the vacation just to see if she really wanted to have a full suspension bike or not but I really think that she cares more about weight anyways so if we just get her a decent cross-country bike I think that would be better than worrying about getting a whole bunch of extra suspension and stuff that we don't really need down here right now if she outgrows it some point in the future we could get her something different but right now I think that a couple bikes that we looked at last week would really be perfect for her and we still have a couple of weeks where we can get some good training in, so that would be nice. Leah has been doing really well. Uh, I know I've said that a couple times, but uh, got her some 510 shoes that are actually specifically made for mountain biking, and they really seem to help a lot tonight. So instead of just standing on regular tennis shoes, she has some actual mountain biking shoes now. We broke all kinds of PRs for her on, on Strava tonight, and it's really awesome to see the progress that she's made. So yeah, overall, I'm thrilled with the progress, the training that both of us have made for this trip that's coming up. Uh, I know that no matter how much I work, mountain biking in Utah is going to absolutely destroy me, but I'm 
really given it my best here to be as prepared as I can with such short notice. All these lifestyle changes that I've been making and be it food or exercise, uh, things I should have taken care of a long time ago, but it's been, it's been a good motivator. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, well, the future really. I am optimistic about hitting my 275 pound goal in the next week or two. I think it looks promising. I know that I've had a couple heavy days here where I've eaten a little bit more than usual, but I've just been riding so much I've been hungry all the time. So I think if I can get that back under control, I'll be heading in the right direction again. And yeah, I can hit that goal, which I'm really looking forward to. Plus my stamina on the bike has improved a ton. Like it's ridiculous how much more I can ride just just at one time without taking a break. Um, it's really a nine day difference. And I'm looking into getting a GoPro. I might, I have a couple of knockoff cameras right now. I might try to get some footage with those. It might at least be watchable, it might not. So be on the lookout for that in the near future. But no promises on the quality of it because these were very inexpensive cameras. I'm torn about doing the same thing over again with slightly more expensive knockoffs or just dealing with it and getting the GoPros. But I'm not going to be buying a GoPro right now anyways, unfortunately. I would really, really love to have one for the trip, but I just don't really see that happening. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this for tonight. Um... Liam wants to play some Zelda. I have a few more things that I need to get done. So subscribe if you haven't. Like the video and go ahead and leave me a comment if you don't mind. And as always, have a good one. I'll see y'all tomorrow.